Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. Every morning we do this. I guess you're just stretching, doing your yoga. You're a cute one, Daisy. Silly girl. It's raining a lot. I don't think I'm gonna get out anytime soon. What do y'all think, guys? It's raining. Look. It's raining. Come on. All right, don't think I'm getting out today. All right, guys, I'm in the process of unloading my groceries. I'm going to give you a haul in just a second. All right, today is June the 19th at 1017, and I have 4,495 steps. Let me finish getting everything unloaded, and we'll do our haul. Hey guys, it's Alma. So here we are, another grocery haul, guys. And I'm just going to kind of talk to you from a budget standpoint, all right? So here's the deal, guys. Now, I love my pork rinds. I love Southern Recipe. They're a little bit more expensive. I don't have any plans on going to Aldi's anytime soon, which is 99 cents. And I don't have plans on going to Dollar Tree, which is a dollar. Uh, so meanwhile, I do get these, which are a little more on the high end. Now, I also have some whisks. Guys, you can easily make these yourself in the microwave, but I do need to have easy grab and go things for David that are keto approved. And speaking of budget, guys, when you're to the grocery store, look for the quick sell meat to cook that day or stick in your freezer. So David loved the arroz con pollo, so I'll be making that today. And then here we go. So I told you guys I want to come up with my own recipe. I love Michelle Rock's recipe. The almond meal is about $9. I'm going to try it with the flaxseed meal, which is $4. So hopefully it'll work with this. I am very excited. Uh, both of these products are gluten-free, so that's a good deal. Let me move these. Then I have eggs. Uh, I purchased these, they're on sale right now. Check your flyers, guys. These are 79 cents each, 79 cents each at Randall's. Those are the prices that we were getting earlier, uh, late last year over at Aldi's and early this year at Aldi's. Now they're back to like $1.69 each. So hey, 79 cents a piece. Yeah, I'm on it. All right, and then, I don't know if you like gizzards, guys. I did get a lot more response than I thought I would. Uh, I love them. David fell in love with those fried gizzards. So they had some quick sale, so I'll be buying those. What I'll do is go ahead and get those cooked up today, and they'll probably have them tomorrow uh, fried, as well as sticking a package in the freezer. And then affordable meat is always your liver, whether it be beef liver or chicken livers. Organ meat, you really don't need to be eating every day. But I'm on a kick for some reason right now, and I don't know, maybe I'm craving iron, I don't know. And then pistachios, this is not uh, necessarily a cheap item, but you know, check the brands. The great value is cheaper than the planters um, and or some of the other brands. So just check your, check your brands, check your ounces against the cost and make a good decision. These were actually the best ones that were roasted and salted pistachios. I got those for Matthew. Same thing with the cashews. That was the best price point. Um, and then I have been buying the I have been buying the blocks of cheese, uh, the small blocks of cheese from Aldi's. I'm virtually out. So, so I went ahead and picked these up. They're pre-shredded. This one is because it's for Matthew. He wants some tacos uh, over the next few weeks. So I got that for him. And then he also loves the pizza. So I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, pizza bases for him uh, as part of meal prep. And I know, guys, my oven. But I think what I'm going to do is make it to fit my George Foreman uh, insert, deep dish insert. That way I can make his pizzas in here versus turning on the oven when it's 108 degrees. We are uh, rainy this week, so I got a little bit of break from the sun and I'll probably go ahead and do some meal prepping today or tomorrow as far as the pizzas are concerned. Now, so this here is a couple things for Matthew. He asked for some Cheez-Its for some Yoo-Hoo and taco shells. Those are all Matthew as well as he wanted some honey bunches of oats. And so got those for Matthew. Those are obviously, none of those are not keto, not keto, not keto, not keto, but good. Miss that stuff sometimes. And then got me some mini pill peppers. These are great for stuffing. They were actually cheaper at um, Walmart than they were at Randall's. Randall's are usually this bag is for $5, same ounces. I also purchased these, which are cheaper by about a dollar and a half 
than the holy guacamoles. I got the spicy as well as the mild. It doesn't have a brand, it's not great value, so I'm not really sure who it is. But also got a package of um, cauliflower. Again, I said David loves it. arroz con pollo, so I'll be fixing that for him again. And then I, while I was at Randall's, I picked up their sale, five for $10 in the bottled water, 24 count and the milk for Matthew, and I said I was set on my drinks, but you know what, guys, on sale, these are typically about um, $2.36 a piece, somewhere around there, $2.48, depends, and they're on sale right now, two for $3, so I jumped on it, put those in the fridge, and I'll be good for several weeks now. Um, but yeah, then here, guys, you know, I'm off my coffee, but every once in a while when it's weather like this where it's rainy and kind of just overcast i can't get outside because of the rain i have some extra time to just chill out in the morning i would love to have a cup of coffee in bed so i went ahead and got one package of coffee i gotta hide that so david doesn't get to it and then i got some jalapenos um i got this one which doesn't have any sugars in it i was really excited to see that but it said hot on it so i thought wow jalapenos are very much luck of the draw so this one specifically says hot i thought yeah i'm gonna get it matthew and i both love hot well the whole family we all love hot stuff and then i got this brand which is our favorite brand but anyway guys uh that's some of my favorite jalapenos so that is my haul for the week guys and uh also pulled out some things from my freezer i pulled out some sausage link i pulled out some more pulled pork and I think that's, oh, and some more chicken. And so we'll be eating all of that throughout the week. I may have to pick up some more veggies later on in the week, uh, but I've still got a few things in the fridge. I still have two avocados from my Aldi's haul two weeks ago, and still perfect, guys. Still perfect. So seriously, put them in, a, if you buy avocados and they go bad frequently, stick them in a plastic bag, put that little puppy in your fridge, and those little babies will last, all right? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed my haul. Let me know if you have any questions. Sorry for the non-keto things, guys, but I do have my son here, so I'm happy to shop for non-keto things because that means he's here at home. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, wanted to pop in real quick. I was getting ready to cook, and guess what? No cumin, so another part of my haul. I ran out to Big Lots real quick to get some cumin, and while I was there, found a couple of new finds. Here are some new pork skins they have. All the ingredients are very clean. Pork skins and salt. Nothing else. The barbecue one does have dextrose in it. Not maltodextrin, but it does have dextrose, so pass on those. And then, the way I like to torture myself, you saw what I said the other day, I have an issue right now with some flower seeds. Now, these are good. They're not as good as the Walgreens Nice brand, but they're giant seeds. You can see my fingernail here and see how big they are. They're big seeds. So I thought maybe I would do better with seeds that aren't my favorite seeds. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Also came across this, what I thought was really neat, pecan smoked sea salt. 250, we'll give it a try. It sounded really good for my salmon, right? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried this. Also, my, my ground cumin, which I needed. And then came across these four packs. Look, a dollar four pack. And ingredients are, it is carbonated water and natural flavors. Natural flavors can, you know, be questionable, but still not bad. And then uh, zero grams, of course, and four of them for a buck. And I thought, hey, why not? David loves drinks like this. This is actually really affordable. I'm gonna give it a quick try. Let's get it in my cup. It's funny, because I hated drinks like this prior to uh, my sugar challenge. And now, I don't mind them. My taste uh, has really changed in regards to the sweets. Let's check this out. Not bad, guys. All right, guys, this wraps it up. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.